Okay, here's a little quiz. If a fella's lost all his marbles, but he's playing for keeps, shooting sticks and tossing boulders, what's going on? If you can answer that, you're probably older than you want to be. Or perhaps you've been to Naoma, West Virginia. Folks here play for keeps better than anybody else in the world. I'm talking marbles, and not the kind they used to put on coffee tables. I need a bigger marble. I'm shooting first. There's Naoma is a marble shooter's mecca. Here's one. This little town has had six national and world champions. Before a kid can tie his sneakers around here, he knows the joy of knuckles in the dirt. Now nah, you got him. Marbles, for most of America, died out with dime novels and little big books. There you go. But here in this tiny mountain village, it is still a game that keeps everyone the same age. We wanted to know how a town of 500 people could produce so many winners. Is it what they eat? Or drink? Or is it in the air? The answer was at Ray Gerald's gas station. Must need that, bud. A marble shrine. Fill a plum full. Ray Gerald is the dean of Naoma Marble Shooters. He has won 20,000 marbles. After school and on weekends, kids gather above his grease rack to learn at the foot of a master. You got two now. Yeah. Ray won a national title in 72, became world champ two years later. He successfully defended his crown three times, then retired. Was it tough growing up as a marble champ? It's tough in school. Nobody wouldn't play me any marbles. <laughs> they wouldn't play no keeps no more. They'd, they'd play you know, as long as it wasn't for keeps. <laughs> Orange 18! Orange 18! Sandy Nesmith, the town quarterback, is the current national champ. His approach to marbles makes Minnesota Fats look like a missionary. A lot of people you can sit there, especially young guys, you know, young boys or something like little kids like, you can sit there and you can spin your marble and you'll jerk it back, you know, it'll come back to you. And they'll sit there like, God, you know, he can do that, you know. That, that'll psych them out a lot of times. Then there's the town's secret weapon. So secret, they keep it enshrined in a cup of lard. A big orange shooter called Old Faithful. This marble has won every tournament the town ever entered. Guaranteed to improve your game. Put it right there and just, just flick it out with your thumb. You're trying to get too far back in your hand. Kindly put the marble out on the tip of your finger. I'm a terrible student. <laughs> See right now, it's going to take a while. <laughs> You're not keeping your thumb square. <laughs> well, we leave it to Billy Gloshin, age 13. The great new hope for Naoma. There Billy's got the eye, the concentration, and a mom who doesn't care about grease stains. But we just can't go without asking. What do you champs have for breakfast every morning? <laughs> Eggs. <laughs> for today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, above the grease rack in Ray Gerald's gas station. Thanks, Ray.